I just spent $100,000 building the world's largest Thor's hammer. But it's not this one. It's this one. And the plan is to drop it from a giant crane in our next video, which is now available for our YouTube members to see early. But let's rewind a little bit. A few months ago, I had a really dumb idea. What if we made a giant Thor's hammer? I mean, we've made pretty much every conceivable Thor hammer so far. Giant's the next step, right? I hopped into SolidWorks and threw together a design. This thing is gonna be massive and heavy. Leave a comment below with how much you think it'll weigh. We'll tell you how heavy it is at the end of the video. Once I exported all the files, I handed it off to be fabricated in my shop. First, we laser cut all the pieces out of one eighth inch thick stainless steel plate. We laid out the parts to make sure we had everything and then we welded them all together. We installed a really thick pipe as the handle and of course a hacksmith plate on the bottom. Finish it off with a handle strap and some decorative pieces and our giant hammer is done. Let's take a look. Tyler, this is supposed to be a giant hammer. This is 60 centimeters. It's supposed to be 60 inches tall. Did you check the drawing? Yeah. Fuck! All jokes aside, the pieces of this hammer are actually too big for us to make in house. So we had to outsource it to a local company. The steel's just been delivered, which means we can start building our giant Thor's hammer. And holy cow, is it big! Over 4,000 pounds of steel, nearly $20,000 worth of raw material. This is crazy. Now, we just have to put it all together. This project has the most welding we'll have ever done. Even more than our power loader that took three years to build. And it's not gonna be easy. We're gonna need the whole team working 24 seven to make it happen. We're probably gonna go through hundreds and hundreds of pounds of welding wire. And even though pretty much everyone on the team knows how to weld, none of us are actually properly trained welders. So I think it's time we bring in a pro to help. And I know just the person. I've been a welder now for seven years, all thanks to my friend Mike over there. I used to watch him weld in his shop all the time. He let me try it out and fell in love, went to school for it and never looked back. I am now the welder's helper. Here's the plan. We're gonna try to take some of these lifting eyes and we're gonna weld it into the body of the hammer so that way it gives us a lifting point so we can actually pick this thing up and rotate it because you can't just flip this thing over you know what I mean it's uh, a little on the heavy side so you got lots of room there this might make a rather large bang eh, boggy nah if we keep going over slowly it should be okay So next time we're gonna do that different. We did our best designing it with slots and tabs so it goes together nicely, but the problem with welding big pieces of metal is they warp from the heat. And there's 30 tabs that need to fit perfectly for this to sit flat. I need a nap. Why does it feel like we've been working on this for about a week and we've barely made a dent? Uh, that's because we have and uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, so if you're done wasting my time, Daryl, I'll get back to work then. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Every plate's a fight. Each one, absolute battle. You do one battle at a time, you win the war. Like to lift one piece into position, like you can't just pick this up and move it. There's, there's a whole lot of uh, not using your back to lift this stuff, believe me. That was way better than the first time we attempted this. Well, and the other thing is how are we gonna pick it up after the pipe's in? What? We're not supposed to think about that now. We're supposed to think about that later when it's a problem. Oh, okay, sounds good. Thread the needle. You gotta be kidding, Boggy. Yeah! Yes, all the way, all the way. Perfect. Yep, there, that's it, we're good, we're good. 
With the entire team working on it, we were starting to make some serious progress. But the deadline was fast approaching. I've rented a giant crane for the end of next week so we can drop this thing from over 100 feet. And I'm not getting my deposit back if we aren't ready. It's hard to even imagine that we can spend months building something as ridiculous as this. But it's all thanks to you, our viewers, our YouTube members, and our video sponsors. That's how we keep making these epic videos for you to enjoy. Looking back through the years, did you know Raid Shadow Legends first sponsored us back in 2019? They helped make the power loader happen. And wow, did I have a pointy beard. Just like our channel, Raid has changed a lot over the years and it just keeps getting better. There are hundreds of unique characters and bosses. I mean, just check out the details that went into the character design. They added a whole new faction called the Shadowkin, which personally I think is one of the coolest. Another one of the amazing additions is the Doom Tower, which introduces a whole new world of terrifying bosses to slay and over 120 levels to complete. And the new Hydra Clan boss? Damn, there's never been a better time to start playing. If you're not playing Raid yet, hit the link in the description below and you'll get an epic character Aina, 200k silver, an XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard, so you can start summoning some awesome champions as soon as you get in-game. The hammer's finally finished, which means now it's time to get it galvanized so it doesn't rust and so it looks a bit more consistent. I've sent Bogdan on a 100 mile quest to dip this thing in molten metal. And I told him to suit up for the occasion. Let's go! So currently, our hammer is in the hydrochloric acid and it's getting all of its mill scale removed so it leaves a nice shiny steel finish. After the hydrochloric acid dip, they're gonna put it into a tank of water just to clean off all the hydrochloric acid, and then we'll see the full zinc dip. The steel is looking so much cleaner. Yeah. But I'll try to take it up as far as I can. Okay, all systems go. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that this thing weighs over 4,000 pounds. That is literally a pool of molten metal that our hammer just got dipped into. Like, that is insane. We're about to see the hammer come out of the zinc pool for the first time. It's looking so sweet. That is exactly what I was hoping for. That was incredible. The last time I saw a giant pool of molten metal was in Terminator 2. I'll be back. And we dipped our entire hammer into it. Now, unfortunately, it did something that we weren't quite expecting. Because the filler wire we used for the welding is actually a slightly different alloy than the steel, it actually attracted more zinc than the bare steel. So even though the team spent weeks and weeks and weeks grinding all this down to a perfect finish, you can see that all the welds just revealed themselves because the zinc built up. At this point, we're behind schedule, over budget, and I have a crane scheduled for the end of next week. We need to get this thing done. While the team spends a few more days grinding each spot down again, I'm gonna make sure we can pick this thing up from the strap. I found an 18,800 pound lifting strap that we can cover in leather so it looks just like the Mjolnir from the movie. But we wanna grab it from an eye bolt, so I've designed this little coat hanger to pick it up by. But to make sure it'll hold, I ran a simulation and it shows that it bends less than 0.2 millimeters. So I think we're good to go. Woo pa! One of the final touches are these awesome decorative plates. We didn't want to show the fasteners, so we actually welded on studs in the back. But that means we need to put nuts on from the inside of the hammer. Oh, it's tight. Gentle love taps. After a few more finishing touches, the hammer is complete with just a day to spare. 
Time to load the sucker up and find out how much it weighs. Are you sure it's gonna hold? Oh yeah, it's a Ford. It'll hold. All right. Fortunately, there's a way station right down the street from us. Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below with your guess on how much it weighs, and we'll reveal it at the end of the video. Yeah. How much do you think it weighs? I have no idea. No? no. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> 4,253. You? 4140? What are we at? Thanks a lot. Have a good one. With the hammer built, there's no better way to enjoy it than sharing it with our fans. So we set it out front of our showroom, which is open to the public every Thursday. Thanks to all who came out. Experts on Instagram. Now showing it to the fans were great, but let's see what some random strangers think. So we drove it downtown for some candid reactions with unsuspecting passerbys. Let's see if anyone will be able to guess the weight of this giant Thor hammer. <laughs> How much do you think it weighs? Oh, Significantly more than a ton. But how are guys put it here? Six tons. I'd say two and a half tons. Three. More. How much do you think it weighs? Huh. Don't you want to figure that out again? Oh, oh. Am I worthy? <laughs> yeah, I would estimate between four and five thousand pounds. We're renting a crane tomorrow to drop it from a hundred feet, so we're hoping it survives. <laughs> four thousand eight hundred and eighty-six. That's a nice guess. It looks like a, a heavy hammer. <laughs> Well, how heavy? How heavy is the big question? Can you believe this? Right here in Victoria Park. 4,444. Bingo. Oh. No! <laughs> this is a, a mini saber, okay? You just say, get yours at hacksmith.store. Get, get yours at hacksmith.store. Well, have fun, guys. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this build video of our giant Thor hammer. The test video is now available to our YouTube members with early access, and for everyone else, it'll be out next week. It's absolute insanity. Become a member today for early access to all our videos, and thank you for your continued support.